Coach Shamar to be joining us for a second. And for the first question, we're going to go in front to Ben. Hey, Tyler, your offense has been so good all year, kind of out of sorts in the first half. What made you guys able to, to flip the switch in the second half? Yeah, uh, just kind of getting outside myself, not focusing on you know personal circumstances and start pouring into the guys and focus on, on everything else uh, on the defensive end. You know, on, on their motivation, on my motivation, and just play free. Right here. Right there. The Olivier, you guys are clearly trying to counter their two big men who each had the two rebounds with transition. Did that work out the way you expected? Um, yeah, I said we got some, we did a solid job in transition, you know, pushing the ball and, you know, getting easy ones. That's what we want to play. We wanna, if they score, doesn't matter, we try to answer back right away. Um, we definitely can be better in some in, uh, in that area, but I feel like we're going to do something. Okay. We've been joined by Coach Shaka Smart, second round here. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, for either of you, just you guys were down 14 at one point, which is now the largest deficit you guys came back from. What does it say about the team as a whole to be able to fight through that and come with a way of victory? I mean, I, f I feel like it's our re resiliency. I mean, that's what we're about. I mean, it doesn't matter how down, how down we are or whatever, we feel like we can come back and win any game. And that's such our relationships, the way we feel about each other, and how connected we are. And that's how we came out in the second half. We came out with that belief and that energy, and then that's what we were going to come back and win this game. Still on the right side. Coach, uh, both regular season meetings with St. John's, they were shootouts. Uh, today it was the polar opposite. What's to say about this group uh, being able to win in this way compared to, you know, winning in a high scoring game? It says a lot. I mean, it, we, had, we faced a lot of adversity today, and uh, the guys stared down the adversity. They stayed connected. Um, they continued to respond, focus on the next most important thing. Uh, it, was a, it was a challenging game. Every game against them this year has been, but this one was uniquely challenging just because, uh, you know, let's face it, the first time playing the Garden with this team, uh, number one seed, and, you know, there's just been so much focus on the regular season and regular season awards and all that. And, uh, you know, I think it took us some time to flush that and move on. But I thought the guys did a great job in the second half just, just playing to win. In the back on the left. Uh, Tyler, Marquette's going to be the third youngest team in the field of 68. This team just hasn't seemed rattled all year. Can you say something about playing as more experienced teams and still rallying from 14 or all year coming through these clutch games? Uh, I would say I wouldn't say that we're inexperienced anymore just because of everything that we've gone through this year all the experiences that we've had all the close games that we've won and lost um, and, and that's just made us better so I think coming into the postseason I, we're as prepared as we can be doesn't matter if we're the youngest team on paper I think we're one of the most prepared teams in the country in front John. question for a coach another game that Tyler was able to score down the stretch and help you guys uh, when you face that adversity you were talking about can you just talk about how important his leadership in that final five minutes to keep you guys intact with your goal to get to credit? I thought Tyler, uh, starting at the beginning of the second half, had a, a much better clarity for attacking and, and being the most aggressive guy on the floor. I thought he made a lot of plays, um, not just the ones where he scored, but you know created some plays for other guys. Uh, St. John's deserves a lot of credit the way that they, they attacked and played, and they, they wouldn't go away. They kept responding. Um, but, you know, Tyler's a guy down the stretch, if we can have the ball in his hands, we know that he can create a good shot for us. Today was a day where we missed a lot of good shots. I mean, we shot under 40% from the field, under 30% from three. Yep. But, you know, to be able to find a way to win that type of game is huge. In front of you, Ben. Oh, Max, what did you see on that, that steal and that scramble play at the end of regulation and then by extension, just how much uh, defensive intensity turned up in the, in the second half? Uh, yeah, I mean, I feel like that's what we emphasize at, at halftime. We have to come out with a defensive identity, and then we're just aggressive. And then when we're aggressive, like down the defensive end, that's how we're able to get steals. We're able to get deflection, um, and then that's what that's what really happened. And then we're able to come back and get easy ones. And that's how we got back in this game. Nice one, right here. Um, so Shaka, the first half uh, probably didn't go as you would have liked, and uh, the second half you kind of turned it back around. But what was that like in the locker room during halftime? Our guys were great. I mean, they, they communicated with each other. I think we had a couple of guys that, that, that don't even get in the game kind of went off. 
um, which is which is good, you know, from a leadership standpoint. Uh, we knew that it was one of our worst halves, and we knew that we had to lead with the defensive end of the floor. And the way that these guys, plus Stevie, plus Cam and Oso, started the half was terrific. And I thought Chase Ross um, what gave us a huge lift uh, as a freshman coming in here playing with great boys. Uh, when, when this group here uh, has clarity about us and really plays through being connected with each other, we can play with anyone in the country. Um, we got away from that a little bit early on. I think we got that back, and that's what allowed us to win. Mark, yeah, thank you. 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 Thank you.